Okay, um, let's cover a little bit about hand contact on the ball when you are attacking a volleyball over the net. Uh, lots of theories on this and lots of uh, different thoughts. You'll find a wide range of opinion. For me, I think the two big things are A, a bigger surface will give you more control. So if I have a really small hand, and when I was growing up, there was a school of, uh, or a, yeah, I guess a ph philosophical school that thought or uh, argued that you could get more power on the ball with a smaller contact point. But uh, growing up and experimenting with it a lot, I found that a big hand and a loose hand, a big hand will give you a lot more control because ultimately not only do you want to have power, but you want to be able to make the ball go where you want it to go. You want it to go between two blockers if you see some daylight there or around the blockers or to an open spot on the court between floor defenders. That happens, in my opinion, far more readily if you can get a big hand contact on the ball. And so, for example, get ready to catch over this way, but if I want to, if I'm um, getting ready to hit and I want to direct the ball over to my left, to your right, I'm going to use a big hand and come around, come around the ball with my whole hand on the ball like that. Um, if I want it, if I'm facing over here and I want to go the other way, uh, I'll still hit over that way. But if I'm facing more away from the camera, then I'm going to come around the ball again with a big hand. That's going to give me more control because not only do I want power, but I need to have a good amount of control to make it go where I need it to go, where I can plan based on what the block and defense is doing. Secondly, I mentioned I want more of a loose hand. I've never been one, lots of, there are plenty of coaches out there who will coach wrist snap. Uh, in my opinion, most of the power that you can generate on any given attack, any given spike, comes from much stronger parts of your body, from your core whipping your uh, shoulders across, which will whip your arm through, which finally whips your hand through. So if we have it loose, then that in itself is going to help uh, give you this sense of a wrist snapping over it. But in our coaching here in USA, we don't focus at all on telling someone to snap their wrist. We just contact or focus more on a big and loose hand. Big for contact, more contact equals more control, and loose because it will naturally whip through as the stronger parts of your body uh, whip this whole long lever through with the hand at the end.